Okay, sure. so look at which. Which dropped. Yep. Did she? She did. Oh, look at the chalk. Take chalk. Take circle. Okay, we have the chalk. So now we need to complete the spell. Summon white chalk. So now we need to complete the spell to summon the breaker of locks. Except we don't want to break the. Or do we use chalk on circle? Use the chalk on the circle. Where? How many satanic rituals do you perform? There we go. Oh. Okay. Oh, that demon is not happy. Demons generally aren't. <laughs> and also, I find it funny the demon is now in the situation that all of the other mortals are in. <laughs> Who are you? I am Surgat, opener of locks. Am and I are brothers, more or less. <laughs> Kind of locks can you open? I can open anything. Doors to a boudoir. Doors Talk to a demon. Room. I'm Talk talking to the demon. To the demon. <laughs> Beep boop. Talk to the demon. Beep boop. Talk to the demon. <laughs> I am a robot. Talk to the demon. <laughs> what were you saying about a trade? I can return to my sphere of origin only if we complete a trade. I will unlock something for you if you give me something in return. So what door was locked in this castle? Yeah, there was the door in the... So he's not... Oh, there we go. Can you unlock the maid's bedroom door? There's also, can you unlock a gate into the surface world? You love maid's one. Yeah. Can you Remember the back of the hand. maid's bedroom door? Ordinarily, that would be easy, but this planar travel has sapped my energy. Give me something juicy to revitalize me, and I'll perform your little parlor trick. So I need to get the demon some food. Demon food is what I'll call this game. Aw, oh, yeah. Figured out what you gotta give him. Yeah, it says he needs some. He says he needs some food. Although I'm guessing, as a demon, it's probably not food. Food. What do you need? To eat? Souls. Everything. Try again. <laughs> Tricks. Uh, what do you mean specifically that you might have? right now. Blood? Yeah, I'm, guessing it's, I'm guessing it's the glass. The pipe? The pipe blood you've got in you. <laughs> so, I guess I'll give the demon this blood. Give the blood. I'm sure use, the call will fix itself. Use glass with Sargat. Yeah, that will integrate with him and your fucked. That's much better. I feel my energy renewed. Now, what were you asking me, human? You could unlock the maid's bedroom door. Unlock oh, that got greener. Hey, You're doing good. A trivial little task, but not even requiring any pyrotechnics. <laughs> the maid's boudoir is now open for your inspection. Um, I don't believe you can unlock the maid's bedroom door from here. I don't believe He's a demon. He can do whatever he wants. Bedroom door from here. Well then, why don't you go down to the kitchen and see for yourself? I also like that he says, oh, that doesn't even require any of my fancy pyrotechnics. <laughs> Devil knows what's up. Demon knows what's up. Save. Major. Yeah, the, de the devil and the demon are two different yeah. things. Yeah. All right, and the, uh, the devil hates demons. Well, certainly nothing could go wrong. Certainly nothing will happen to break that shock circle. Nope. 
Not at all. Chalk, one of the most powerful substances in this world. Yes. <laughs> oh, there we go. Walk to walk to the door. Oh, push. Yep, you push that door in and it pulled open. Oh, and there's another busted ass mirror. Look. You're a busted ass mirror. My face Damn. is a busted ass mirror. How quaint. A hope chest. I'll bet that maid is eternally hopeful. Ted, you're such an asshole. <laughs> Alright. Something look very interesting in this room. There's a tapestry, there's a mirror, there's oh, there's a thing that I can't actually look at. There's also a chest and there's a thing behind a chest. What if I can use chest? Yep, just These dance. <laughs> only she was... I'm gonna spoil it right now, dude. Check out that tapestry. I checked out the tapestry. It said the devil was looking into a hand mirror. Uh huh. So the devil has the mirror? <laughs> what were the books that were in the library? Hmm? What books were in the library? Um, it was, oh, it was all books about you know, Dante's Inferno and stuff like that. Yeah, I'm betting it's in there. <laughs> oh, you're so mm, you're so smart. <laughs> <laughs> it's adventure. Don't game. go back to the library yet, though. You have to talk to the devil first. It's okay. adventure game logic. It starts to make sense after a while. No, it doesn't. <laughs> You're lying. <laughs> well, oh, there's an angel. Why? Why did you think that the, uh, the, the that the mirror would be there? Well, he said the devil has it, and clearly he, he doesn't actually physically have it. That would make too much sense. And you know, there I, I thought I remembered there being a Dante's Inferno copy in the library. You're so good. Oh shit. <laughs> okay, so now there's an angel we can talk to. It's just a party up in here for Ellen's soul. I am an angel of the Lord. Once again, it's not a real angel. I'm assuming. Yes. In the creation of Ab. Because remember, all of this is meant to torture us in some way. Can you tell me where Ellen's mirror is? No. It's true. I've seen the mirror. If I knew where it was, I would use it to get rid of my fallen brother. Oh, why is everyone interested in the mirror? <laughs> why is everyone so interested in the mirror? Mirrors harbor incalculable power in the sphere. They repel some and attract others. Oh, interesting. What power does this mirror have over Ellen? It can bring about either her salvation or destruction. Her fate now <laughs> rests on your shoulders. Oh, and wait, why does the angel show up for Surgot? Why does he have dialogue options for Surgot? What can you tell me about the devil? Do not listen to He's him. He's an angel. He probably knows about me. Only I know, it's just funny that we can get that dialogue option after we've already summoned Surgot and used him. Who is this Surgot I've heard about? Avoid the demon. Whoops. He has caused us all trouble on more than one occasion. <laughs> Who is this Surgot? Avoid him. Um... <laughs> Yeah, about that. <laughs> okay, please save us. Please save us. Fear not. Salvation is at hand. Okay, so the the angel wants to guide wants to guide Ellen's soul to heaven. The devil wants to take her soul and because it's currency. Guess I'll talk to the devil though. Even though Sam figured it out, you have to get the devil to fill Ted in. I've seen the tapestry in the maid's bedroom, and I think you do know where Ellen's mirror is. Oh, all right, I know where it is. I hid it before the angel showed up. Super smart. I want Golden Boy to use it to his advantage. 
Where is Ellen's museum? I hid it someplace good. Someplace where an <coughs> angel would never go. Now will you get off my back? Oh, shit. <laughs> uh. Wait, what's going on? Sorry, I stepped away for a second. Oh. Uh, so we talked to an angel. He said he was gonna. He said he was gonna potentially save Ellen. Then we talked to the devil, and he said, "Oh, I uh, yeah, I hid the mirror. I didn't want the angel to use it against me." <laughs> nice. And so I was like, "Where would I? Where where'd you hide it?" It's like, "Huh? Think of a place that only that an angel wouldn't look." Sort In a good. book. Uh, a Angels. reading rainbow. A reading rainbow. Reading rainbow. Divine comedy. Between oh, there's a hand mirror right between the Inferno and Purgatorio sections. Apparently, it's the thinnest so fucking mirror in the world. Where was it again? Hmm? It was in? It was uh, between Inferno and Purgatorio. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> It was in between Inferno and Purgatorio. Yeah. Yeah. I don't actually know my. I don't actually know that book that well. I don't remember what the order of the chapters is. <laughs> uh. Oh God. I'll be right back. <laughs> okay. Okay. I think just. Okay. So go back to the old shut up until he comes back, and then we'll come. Because you're about to win. Cool. Uh, so yeah, what is? Uh, I mean, is I thought it, I figured it would be Inferno, Purgatorio, and then whatever Paradiso. they call. Yeah, Paradiso. It's just it's just funny for thematic reasons. <laughs> okay. Oh, you're back. Okay, so we we'll go to the doorway, and I guess I'll also say save. Ted almost win. Okay, so do we so we need to give the mirror to Ellen? I guess this is the decision I'll make here. Please tell me you Uh yeah, I'm assuming mirror. we give it to her. What? I'm assuming we give it to her. Yeah. Well, cause the cause the angel wants to use it to banish the devil. I vote we give it to Ellen and use it, have her use it to protect herself. Yeah. Uh, I saved before this anyway, so that's all I'll do. I found your mirror, Ellen. Then show it to me. Let me see my face one last time. I'm gonna talk to Ellen and see if she can talk to Ellen and see if she reacts. Ted, please tell me you found my mirror. Ellen, there's an angel and a devil quarreling over your soul. <laughs> I'm here. I don't know how good I sound, but what the fuck ever. Oh, you're on it a lot better now. So, okay, super. Men have been fighting over my body for more than a hundred years, and now they want my soul. <laughs> Me from all this. I don't care what happens anymore. So let me tell you a little bit about Ellen. I'm <laughs> guessing there's a lot. I'm guessing there's a lot of rape vibes. Yes, I'm the, trying to guess I that. She's Ellen. the only then woman. Me. Let me see my face one yeah. last time. This five-person group. Yeah, that's okay. Uh, give mirror to Ellen. And the others kind of compete for her, I guess you could say. Yeah. yeah. Creepy. She's the only woman. She is dead. Okay, Creepy. so I I just killed Ellen. Not so fast there, Golden Boy. Her soul is mine. I've waited longer. But Ellen suffered. Well, so you killed the gave to men um, what I'm assuming is the Am representation of Ellen. Listen to me, yeah. you feathered propaganda machine. I'll pluck you alive before you take this soul anywhere. I'm waiting until I get it. 
you forget so yeah, they, patience um, is a virtue. They all compete for her. I and um, until yours runs in out. here, here in Ted's section, he's kind of um, <laughs> he kind of thinks he's the only one that deserves her. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I'm guessing all of them think that. I really, I really want to know what's in his psych profile. <laughs> Damn it. Okay, so now I can give the mirror to either the angel or the devil, and that will kill one of them. Guess which one. <laughs> I'm gonna guess the devil because it's counterintuitive. Yeah, use it on the devil. <laughs> I wish I could be more secretive, but yeah, just for you. Uh, use or give? Uh... Because if I give it to the devil, he'll kill the angel. Uh, use. Use the mirror with the devil. Use the devil. <laughs> use mirror on devil. <laughs> Alright. My, I am gorgeous. Why, I could just plunge right into myself. Okay, well, oh. And Ellen goes to heaven. Safely in heaven. Oh. My time here has ended, but I leave you <laughs> this warning. Do not break the mirror until you bring it and the devil into the charm circle. God bless you, Ted. Okay, oh, so. Oh, man, it's really green now. It's so green. Super okay, green. So it's so we have to take the mirror and put it in the circle, and that'll seal the devil, I guess. You know your satanic rituals, buddy. Well, I read the book that said don't break, except in, until someone breaks the circle, and then the devil can escape. So I'm guessing once Ted steps in there, he'll also be trapped in there. Eternally. Just don't step in the circle. Just go, go give Sir God a friend. Except they hate each other. <laughs> yeah, it'll be great. I love it. Use the scuffs. Also, I like that the devil's dialogue was, Oh, I look so dashing. I could just dive right into this before I get sucked <laughs> in. <laughs> All right. Use mirror on circle. Am has created a very cartoony devil. <laughs> yeah. Oops, what it broke. How did I get back with this? Demon. I brought you some company, Sir God. <laughs> I brought you some company, Sir God. That was damn stupid, human. Hell, you're not even human anymore. Not exactly. Not with being kept alive forever just to be tortured over and over again. Who do you think is responsible for that? Oh, who do you think's responsible for that? You are. It's so there's open the gate and I'll erase the circle, except if I erase the circle, then I free the devil. So I guess You're I can just, white. I guess I can just talk to him. You did everything perfectly. Yeah. Nicely done. Very so, nicely done. So Can I just talk to him now? Is there Yeah, you can talk to him. Whatever. Why Am's responsible for our suffering? Not just Am. He's clever. Or no, yeah, he uh much original thinking. He tell him tell him to let you out into the service. Research that one of your party carried out. You're ruining everything. Shut up. You shut up. <laughs> one word to the boss and your little game's over before you can say holy moly. Devil and Sir God. I, <laughs> now, I love how I love how fucking Don't you even think of touching me, you backstabbing demon? I'm the established character. You're not even supposed to be here. When this sequence ends, somebody will be expunged. Oh, that was an important line that happened 20 seconds ago for you, but I just saw. In return, I will open the gate to the surface world. I'm part of the big machine. I can do this. Interesting. Let me out before this pompous oath bores me to death. Okay, so all I have left is uh, open a gate to the surface world. Do it. Open the gate to the surface world first, and then I'll erase the circle. Not to worry, human. I always uphold my end of the bargain. Here you are. But bring your radiation suit. 
I never promised you paradise, just the surface world. Enough of this turgid passion play. There's no more to come. Oh, and Ted is still in his golden cage, getting oh, shot over and over again. Bad, Ted. <laughs> Writhe Woo. in sweet agony. The knowledge. Congratulations. Okay, so we'll save as Ted end. Yeah, I was wondering why Ted wanted to get to the surface world because it's like it's he the, he said it was bombed to shit. Yeah. <laughs> the Hamptons right. though, the Hamptons are got gotta still be safe. The Hamptons though. <laughs> the Hamptons. All right. Hamptons. Uh, so uh, the suck. Ha you you beat Ted. I beat him, beat him so right. We beat his ass to the ground. Beat and just keep beating him down and beat him. Wait. <laughs> right. Here's the thing about Ted. Ted's uh, scenario is probably the most uh, easy of yeah, all of them. I was well, going to say, he seems to be the most, uh, I don't know, simple and also yeah. like the least fucked up. Yes. Ted's, Ted's undoing is really just his Ted. own. Yeah. Yeah. He he take his whole thing is he takes advantage of particularly women to get what uh, he wants. Okay. He sees himself though as the prince, the knight. Yes. Which yeah. sort of constructed this whole medieval fairy tale uh gotcha. story you played through. Cool. Alright. Well everyone else just gets more fucked up from here. Cool. Excellent. Well we'll check those out next time. Good night, Internet. Good night, Good night. Internet.